Yes, we're going to unbox another one there, Torm. This one is the Anchor M5C. Let's pop her open. All right, we got her open. Let's take off the plastic, and what do we got? We got an assembly guide for the M5C. It's a big old sheet. The hell happened to just... Okay. That's a sheet. That's a bunch of nonsense that I'll never read. And here we are. Much smaller head. Oh, goody. We're putting together another machine. This isn't going to be a quick one. They definitely cheaped out on the new set. Eh. Definitely cheaped out on a new set. Uh, they still do have the good handle. This is missing a whole bunch of pieces to it. Here's the two kits side by side. This is going to be the M5's kit that comes with it for the tool set. Comes with the bits and an actual full metal. This just comes with some Allen wrenches and a looks like nozzle rep replacement tube. One spare nozzle. I threw that extra nozzle in there, but yeah, this one also came with a spare nozzle. But yeah, they cheaped out just a little bit. Alright, so I have, oh, this is going to be our filament holder. Apparently that's the tube guide, yeah, that looks like the guide that goes through. Then we're going to pull off the top. And there's our gantry. Got a nice gantry, single plug, one, they look like Bowden tubes, but they're black, that's weird. Got two stepper motors like before with the different mounting brackets, which is really going to come in handy putting this together. Don't follow me. Then here's our next level. We're going to have, ooh, a little bit of smaller bed. That's way smaller. That's way smaller. Alright, so I got the M5 board right here for the bed. This is going to be the M5C. We got a 235, 235 versus a 220, 220. And yeah, the old bed is too big. That fits right on there. Alright, so I'm going to take apart the base. Take out the bed for a minute. Here's going to be our base. Oh, this is way lighter than the M5s. Looks like because there's plastic instead of all metal. A lot of plastic. Well, I thought there was aluminum in here. Yeah. Ah, here's our aluminum block right here. Wait, this is aluminum, this is plastic, and this is plastic. So only parts of it are aluminum. Interesting. So it's not as sturdy. I mean, it's still solid, but it's not as solid as the M5. It's a lot lighter, a lot smaller. My M5, I can't pick up with one hand. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, put it together. So this is the Anchor Make M5C. Couple real quick things I've noticed on this M5C right out the gate. Uh, it does have some upgrades compared to the M5, like those bed like those bed guides to keep everything straight, which is always a problem on the M5. You are missing a screen. There's no screen on either side, but everything is done off of the Anchor Make app. It just has the single play and pause button. Uh, but we're printing, ooh, a little bit of drag mark there, but we'll see what's going on. We're gonna let this rock and roll and see how she prints out. First upgrade I see, mounting brackets for the bed. So when you slide it on, it stays in place. Always been an issue with my M5, never lining it exactly right. It's always just off, slightly off, you gotta play with it. So that's a big upgrade. This is the result of the Benchy from earlier. Bad choice of filament for a test print, but we haven't tuned it at all, but this is straight out of the box, how it prints. Decent. Not great, but just decent. This is actually a phone holder by the Anchor Make off of their cloud service. 
After this, we're going to print a sliced model that I'm going to slice myself. So, let's see how that prints. Well, we're printing a Hades model from Photos Mints. And we sliced it. We're going to see how this prints. So far, we're pretty good. About two hours in. See how this turns out. Well, that didn't go as well as I wanted it to. Everything was going great. And we had a massive layer shift. I don't know what happened. But, yep, killing this print. So, it's not horrible. And the supports held well, everything went well. It was just that layer shift. Once you had that layer shift right about there, it just kept layer shifting back. And all of it just kept messing up. But quality wise, it did come out well. It's just the layer shift. And it just kept layer shifting. Wish I was here when it happened so I knew what happened. Oh well. Could just be this thing's very. Let's see. It's not very strong on these uh, stepper motors here. You can kind of slide it with just a little bit of tension. So I think it got it bumped. Well, went to go restart it and it's got a clog somewhere. Somewhere this puppy is clogged up. And I can't figure out where. But she is. She's clogged. I can't figure out what it is, so we're going to have to do some research. Yay. Hmm, this is going to be fun. Ha! Huh. There she is. There's my broken piece. Going after it. Well, it appears the stepper motor has broken on the third print. Third print, huh? Watch. There it is, see? It's stuck. There's nothing in there. I've taken out all of the everything. And that's definitely the stepper motor. I took it apart. It's not turning. Push it back in. Still doesn't turn. Just makes a giant grinding noise. Time to call Anchor Make. Thanks, Anchor Make. I appreciate you. Not. Again. I never learn. Never, ever learn.